Okay, this is the first circuit that I learned when I was a kid. This is a very simple circuit in which we have the positive uh, wire that goes to all the LEDs and we have the negative wire that goes to all the LEDs but through an interrupt. This means that if we switch this one, we get this one on. I mean, this is completely normal. But let's see what happens if we take these little colors and we place the colors in front of each of the LEDs. And of course, we have to place the same colors in each of the interrupts so that we can identify them well. We place the colors and let's see what happens. So now if I exchange, for example, the positions, whatever I do, like that, for example, this means that the blue, if I connect the blue, goes with the blue. For the green one, we have the green one, for the red one, and for the yellow one. So green goes with green, uh, red goes with red, and so on. So this is quite, quite amazing. It's just a matter of placing the colors. What would happen if instead of changing the position of the colors of the LEDs, I change the position of the colors of the interrupts. For example, if I do something simple, as simple as this. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, the blue one goes, of course, with the blue. The yellow goes with the, well, the green one goes with the green one, the red one with the red one, and of course, the last one is the yellow that we have here. Okay, this is amazing. What would happen, for example, if I remove one of the colors? I could remove any, any color, it doesn't matter. Let's take this out. I remove the red one. And if I try to switch the red one, then it doesn't work anymore. But incredibly, the rest of the colors will work. So it does not matter what I do but they will work. What would happen now if instead of removing one of the colors here, I remove one of the colors in this side? For example, if I remove the green one. If I remove the green one, it means that this switch will no longer work with the green one. As this one has no color and this position has no color, then this switch will work with this one. If I connect the red one, I don't have a red one, so I don't have a, another light on. If I switch on the yellow one, I get the yellow one. And if I do this with the blue one, I get the blue one. Incredibly, but incredible, incredible, but it's true. So again, what would happen if I remove any of these colors? For example, if I remove now the blue LED. Well, in this case, if I switch on the blue one, nothing will happen because the blue now is here. But the yellow is still here, so the yellow still works. The red one is not here, so it won't work. And in this case, the no color switch will bring on both of the LEDs that don't have a color associated, as we can see here. That's amazing again. Well, now let's remove all the colors from here. It means that if I switch on this one, all the LEDs will go on. And of course, none of these will work. Only this will work. So you can see what an amazing thing can do such a simple circuit as this.